Hello everybody. Today we're going to learn about dilations and what we know is that a dilation means that a change in size is going to occur. We're going to have objects that will get bigger or we will have objects that will get smaller depending on the scale factor. The scale factor will let us know if something got bigger or smaller and what we call bigger is an enlargement and smaller you got it, reduction. So we know that the figure with the dilation, the figure will stretch. And if it stretches, it'll get bigger or it will shrink. And if it's shrinking, it's getting smaller or we call that a reduction. So the figure stretches or shrink with, res with respect to a fixed point. So it shows the scale factor. So K is the scale factor. And we talked about that. If the scale factor is greater than one, we have an enlargement. And if the scale factor is less than one, we know that we have a reduction. I'm going to abbreviate that because I'm running out of room. So draw the image after a dilation having a scale factor of two. The operation that we always use for scale factor is we multiply. So what we do is we're going to take our original coordinates and we're going to multiply them by two. And we know that since it will be the one that is the new image, we label it a prime. So let's take our x coordinate. Our x coordinate is two. Two times our scale factor two is Four. Excellent. Three, take our original y coordinate and multiply it by our scale factor six. Excellent job. So let's go over here and let's label our new a point. We started our origin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to label that point a prime. Now let's do B. To apply our scale factor, what operation do we do? Multiply. You got it. We take our original X point and we multiply it. 3 times 2 is 6 and 1 times 2 is 2. Did I do everything correctly? Nope. I did not put this B prime because it's the one that's been dilated. So let's plot that point over 6 up to, and we're going to label that point B prime. Last one, we're going to apply the scale factor of 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 2 times our x coordinate. 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. What we did to apply our scale factor is we multiplied. So let's go ahead and plot that point over 2, up 4, and I'm going to connect the points. Hopefully it's not too messy. So our new image dilated by a scale factor of 2. So did an enlargement or a reduction occur? Yes, an enlargement. And how do you know that? Great job. The scale factor was greater than 2, so an enlargement occurred. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. The next one, draw the image after a dilation of having a scale factor of 5 tenths. Our scale factor, is that value greater than 1 or less than 1? Yeah, it's less than 1, so what's going to occur? You got it. A reduction is going to occur a reduction. If you want to make a note, we know that it's a reduction because our scale factor is less than one. So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take negative six and we're going to, what do we do with our scale factor? Multiply. So we're going to take our, our x coordinate and we're going to multiply it by five tenths. So take negative six times five tenths and our new coordinate, be careful with your signs, it is negative 3. Take our y coordinate, negative 4, and multiply it by 5 tenths. 
and we get negative 2. Let's go ahead and plot that point. Be careful, there's no numbers on this coordinate grid. So we're going to go backwards, 3, 1, 2, 3. And since it's a negative 2, we're going to go down 2. We're going to plot that point right there and label it M prime since it has been dilated. We're going to take our X coordinate for the ordered pair A, negative 2 and multiply it by 5 tenths. When we multiply the scale factor times the X coordinate, we get negative 1. We're going to take the Y coordinate and multiply it by our scale factor, and we get negative 1, negative 2. We're going to go and plot that point. And we're going to label that new point A prime. Let's go ahead and take T. T is at negative 2. We're going to take negative 2 and multiply it by 0.5, which is the same as halving the number. We get negative 1. We do the same thing with the Y coordinate, and we get negative 3. We're going to go ahead and plot that point. It's hard to see. It's right there. And we're going to label that T prime. We're going to do the same thing for H. We're going to take negative 6 and multiply it by a half. And we get negative 3. And the same thing for both coordinates. Negative 3, 3. We're going to plot that point very carefully. We're going to label that point H prime. Connect our points and confirm. We earlier said that a reduction would occur because the skull factor was less than 1. Did a reduction occur? Great job. The thing to remember is that the image, the pre-image and the image, they are similar. Remember, similar means the same shape but different sizes. Notice it is still a rectangle, but one is smaller and one is bigger. So they are similar figures. We know that similar figures have corresponding angles. In similar figures, sides are proportional and angles are congruent or equal. So corresponding angles are congruent and the sides are parallel and proportional in length. These are the things that you need to remember as you practice the ones on your own.